August 5, 2012. It was just a few hours until the Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity would land on Mars, and all the world converged on the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, to bear witness. Reporters from all the major news services, TV networks, and global media outlets descended upon the normally quiet facility to await the outcome of years of hard work and worry over the complex landing system. The team is assembled uh, for our entry, descent, and landing final approach and uh, final set of activities. And they've been practicing this, practicing it with anomalies and in walking through the mission control, the team says uh, it's going a lot more smoothly than than our past operational readiness tests where we practiced doing this event. Coming up, the falling into the Martian gravity well, we're at about 8,500 miles per hour right now, and we'll be accelerating to 13,200 miles per hour when we hit the top of the atmosphere, and then, as everyone knows, we hit the seven minutes of terror. So during that time, we fire the, the pyros, uh, the vehicle unzips itself, slows itself down, lands on the mobility system, the descent stage flies away. The stakes were high. $2.4 billion in the future of Mars exploration may ride on the outcome. Two, three, two meters. That's correct. And the big question remained, would the landing be successful? And then it began. Curiosity entered the Martian atmosphere, and as the results of the descent arrived, reporters and other observers cheered side by side. As the seven minutes of terror unfolded, each milestone passed flawlessly without the slightest hitch. Everyone in attendance knew that the signal was delayed by over 15 minutes, and what we would soon learn had already occurred. Heading directly to the target. And the range control, parachute, minus 1.2 kilometers. Skycrane started. And then the announcement came. Skycrane had activated. Curiosity was being lowered by its tethers. As the facts came in, the world was told of Curiosity's success. The Mars Science Laboratory had arrived safely on the Red Planet. It was 10.32 Pacific time. Now the work of exploration could begin, but first, outright joy. came in from the hazard avoidance cameras, and all was well. Curiosity photographed its own shadow on Martian soil. The relief amongst those responsible for a safe landing was profound. Brief rest was in order, then back to work for Mars Awaits. This is, this is something we've been working on for many, many years. And uh, to see this, this crazy idea that we had back in 2000, landing on ropes, uh, come true, uh, is pretty cool. And it's even cooler that now we've got this big, beautiful rover on the surface of Mars. I'm looking forward to getting a little rest and having some fun, and then we'll go off and uh, get this rover moving on the surface, get some pictures of that 
of that mountain. I'm hoping that we'll see a beautiful panorama with a picture of the mountain on Mars in just a few days. Well, the next few days, we got to get the high gain antenna unstowed tomorrow. Um, the, 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 uh, the, the science mass will be deployed the following day. Um, we'll be, a day after that, we'll be loading, um, take about four days to load all new software on board um, and put it into the computer and get it started for both the main, the, both the primary and the backup computers. And so we'll be doing that over the course of about four days toward the end of the week. And while this is happening, we'll be taking panoramas and sending those pictures back. So we'll start seeing the view of this fantastic, fantastic place that we landed in, uh, in Gale Crater. Soon, stunning high-res photos and HD video will come in. And the world will see what, for now, only a distant machine can. The scientific playground known as Gale Crater. This is Rod Pyle for Space.com. Space.com.